This is a picture of an X-ray plate. We often get a X-ray done when we get injured or when our hands or legs break. Now, do you know what these X-rays are? A X-ray is a type of radiation. Now, what is meant by radiation? Radiation is a process in which high amount of energy is released in the form of particles or waves. Now, some examples of radiation are X-rays and in fact, the solar radiation that comes from the sun is also a form of radiation. Now, these two radiations are different. This is because the X-ray radiations are more harmful than solar radiation. Well, you must have heard that a person is prohibited to enter the X-ray room unnecessarily. This is because the X-rays are more powerful and enter the human body. Now, when these X-rays enter the human body, they remove the electrons present in the atoms or molecules of living tissues. Thus, X-ray is a very powerful radiation. While the solar radiation coming from the sun are less harmful and they are not able to remove the electrons from atoms and molecules present in living tissues or in any other materials of the environment. So, as I just mentioned that these two types of radiations are different. Since X-rays can remove the electrons present in the atoms or molecules of living tissues or any other materials in the environment, so they are known as ionizing radiation. Well, I also mentioned that the solar radiations cannot remove the electrons from atoms or molecules of different substances present in the environment. So, these solar radiations are non-ionizing radiations. Now, these radiations, whether ionizing or non-ionizing, are produced in the environment either naturally or due to man-made activities. Now, these radiations, as I just mentioned, often lead to undesirable changes in the environment and cause pollution. So, the type of pollution caused due to release of harmful radiations in the environment is known as radioactive or nuclear pollution. Now, what are the sources of this kind of pollution? Well, the sources of nuclear or radioactive pollution can be both natural and man-made. The natural sources of nuclear pollution is radiation coming from the sun. Well, we know that we receive a lot of radiations from the sun. Well, a part of solar radiation that is ultraviolet rays or UV rays coming from the sun are indeed very harmful and they lead to nuclear pollution. So, the radiation coming from the sun is a natural source of nuclear pollution. Now, apart from these solar radiations, there is yet another natural source of nuclear pollution. Apart from solar radiation, the radioactive materials present on the earth's surface is also another natural source of nuclear pollution. Some of the radioactive materials present on the earth's surface are radium, thromium, uranium and plutonium. Now, when these radioactive substances naturally decay on the earth's surface, they emit harmful radiations and therefore lead to nuclear pollution. So, these are the two natural sources of nuclear pollution. The first one is the radiation from space or the radiations from sun and the second one is the decomposition of radioactive materials present on the earth's surface. Now, let us know about the man-made sources of nuclear pollution. A major man-made source of nuclear pollution is nuclear power plants. Well, the nuclear power plants are set up to utilize nuclear powers for generation of electricity. Now, when these power plants use the radioactive materials to generate electricity, the use of these radioactive materials in the power plants generate a lot of radiations and thereby lead to nuclear pollution. Now, nuclear weapons also cause nuclear pollution. 
This is because these nuclear weapons generate a lot of energy and harmful radiations when released in the environment and thereby causing nuclear pollution. Another man-made source of nuclear pollution is disposal of nuclear waste in open space. Now, when these nuclear wastes are left to decompose in open space, they emit a lot of radiations which react with different components of the environment like air, soil, etc. and thereby causing nuclear pollution. Now, uranium mining is also another major source of nuclear pollution. Well, Uranium, as I just mentioned, is a harmful radioactive substance. Now, when uranium, which is a radioactive substance, is extracted from the Earth's surface, it emits a lot of radiations which cause nuclear pollution. So, in an uranium mine, we often see these signboards. Now, these signboards are put up in an uranium mine in order to demarcate this area as a prohibited area. This is because uranium is a highly radioactive substance which emit a lot of radiations in the environment and cause nuclear pollution. So, these are the man-made sources of nuclear pollution. And these sources are nuclear power plants, nuclear weapons, disposal of nuclear waste and uranium mining. So, till now we have discussed about nuclear pollution and the various sources of it. Well, the sources of nuclear pollution as I mentioned can be classified into two types, natural and man-made. Now, throughout I have been saying that these radioactive substances are very harmful. So, now let us discuss about the harmful effects of radioactive or nuclear pollution. Well, before we proceed with our lesson, let us try to answer this question. Which of the following is not a man-made source of nuclear pollution? Is it nuclear power plants? Is it use of nuclear weapons? or uranium mining or solar radiation. What do you think? Well, the correct answer is solar radiation. Well, we know that solar radiation is a natural source of nuclear pollution and it is not a man-made source of nuclear pollution, while the rest are man-made sources of nuclear pollution. So, the correct option is solar radiation. Well, we all know about the historic Hiroshima-Nagasaki bombings of Second World War that occurred in the year 1945 in the country of Japan. The after effects of this nuclear disaster were indeed very pathetic. The survivors of this natural disaster suffered from critical health issues like keloid, leukemia, cancer and other terrible side effects. Now, keloid is a type of skin disease where you have extra scar marks on your skin. So, as we can see in this image, this person is suffering from the disease of keloid. Now, not only the immediate survivors of this disaster, but also the upcoming generations suffered from these diseases. So, from the incident of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, we can understand how harmful radiations can be. Let us discuss about other harmful effects of nuclear pollution. We know nuclear radiations are indeed very harmful and they can break the chains of DNA. Now, damage of DNA can in turn lead to various genetic disorders because we know DNA is an important part of gene. So, a harmful effect of nuclear pollution is that the DNA present in human body gets damaged. This may lead to various genetic disorders. The radiations can also enter human bodies and damage our internal organs. Long exposure to toxic nuclear radiations may lead to various skin diseases. Well, this is the picture of a person who is suffering from severe skin diseases due to long exposure to radioactive materials. 
nuclear pollution not only affects human beings but may also lead to atmospheric pollution or air pollution this is because during heavy nuclear explosions it releases tons of dust particles and soot into the air which may eventually lead to air pollution so these are the harmful effects of nuclear pollution we understood that the radioactive materials that cause nuclear pollution can damage dna present in human cells it can also damage the internal organs of human beings and may even lead to skin diseases apart from this nuclear pollution is also a cause of atmospheric pollution this nuclear pollution is indeed very harmful and we must look for ways in which we can control this pollution we shall now discuss about certain measures in which we can control radioactive pollution or nuclear pollution well since the nuclear waste or radioactive waste are very harmful so they must be disposed of very properly the nuclear waste or radioactive waste should be first collected in an airtight box this box should be properly sealed in order to prevent any undesirable leakages of radioactive materials then a deep burrow must be dug on the earth's surface and this box should be kept there so that it is out of human reach in this way we can dispose nuclear waste or radioactive waste properly so that it does not cause nuclear pollution well the incident of hiroshima and nagasaki proves that nuclear weapons or radioactive materials are widely used during wars so the competition among countries for acquisition of nuclear weapons must be prohibited in other words nations must say no to nuclear weapons because use of these nuclear weapons lead to radioactive pollution or nuclear pollution so these are some of the ways in which we can control or prevent nuclear pollution firstly we must dispose nuclear waste properly deep inside the earth's surface secondly acquisition of nuclear weapons should be strictly prohibited So in today's video we discussed in details about nuclear pollution. We first understood the meaning of nuclear pollution. Nuclear pollution refers to contamination of environment due to accumulation of radioactive materials in it. Then we discussed about various sources of nuclear pollution. Well, the sources of nuclear pollution can be both natural and man-made. Later on we discussed about various effects of nuclear pollution and finally we discussed about the ways in which we can control nuclear pollution so this is all about the chapter on pollution don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now